In this video, we are discussing spark action functions. In the previous video, we have discussed spark transformation functions. We know that all the operations on RDD can be divided into transformations and actions. Here we are considering action related functions. We know that in case of action related functions, it will take RDD as input and it will produce non-RDD result as output and that is the main difference between transformation and action. So, let us discuss some of the very important and frequently used functions in action. So, now some of the action functions are here we are having this function and the respective description. So, reduce is the one function and aggregate the elements of data set using a given function. It will go on doing the aggregation of our data set. And then we are having this collect, get all elements of the data set as an array. So, all the elements of the data set will be converted to as an array and that array will be the output. Next one is the count function, returns number of elements in the data set. So, it counts the number of elements in the data set. Next one is the first function, take the first element of the data set. So, it returns the first element of the data set. Next one is a take n, n is the input argument. So, take the first n elements of the data set. So, it will take or select only the first n number of elements of the data set. Next one is a take ordered n. So, it is only take n, but it is take ordered n. So, take first n elements by their natural order or by using the comparators. So, using comparators it will be taking the first n elements of the data set. Next one is the count by key. So, it is available when RDD is like k comma v. So, k stands for key and v stands for value. So, it is available when RDD is like our k comma v that means it is in the form of key value pair and it returns the hash map of k comma int with the count of each key. So, how many times the key has got counted? So, it will go on the counting on that. So, k comma int will be the outcome and that is the count by key function. Next one is the for each function, returns a function for each element of the data set. So, it will return the return a function for each element of the data set. So, that is the purpose of this for each function save as text file. So, that is another function, write the elements of RDD into a text file. So, elements of RDD will be written onto non-RDD output that is a text file. Save as object file. So, that is another function, write the elements of RDD in a simple format using Java serialization. So, here we are having the function name and the respective descriptions. So, here in this particular video, we have discussed multiple different functions in actions. Thanks for watching this video.